Marion Faithful, a long-standing figure in showbiz, has proven herself as a symbol of lasting success. With her extensive career, it's hard to pick just one standout moment, but her influence is clear across many iconic projects. What lasting qualities make her influence stick around, and which work really defines her career? Share your favorite memory or personal experience about this famous actor below. Look out for interesting stories, funny, surprising, or sad facts ahead. Keep watching for more surprises in this video. We're eager to hear your stories and memories. Marion Faithful was born in Hampstead, London, England. She grew up in a household surrounded by art, with her father working in British intelligence and her mother being a ballerina. During her youth, she attended a convent school and showed early interest in singing and acting. In the 1960s, she met Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones, which led to a significant turning point in her career. Their relationship and her connection with the band pushed her into the limelight. She gained fame with songs like As Tears Go By, where her unique voice shone. Despite her initial success, she encountered personal struggles, including substance abuse and homelessness. These difficulties deeply impacted her music and public image. Her album Broken English, released in 1979, reflected the turbulent times she had faced and was highly praised by critics. Throughout her career, she explored various music genres, establishing herself as a respected artist known for her distinctive voice and fearless approach to music. Her ability to overcome challenges continues to inspire both fans and fellow artists. In 1970, due to a tough time in her life marked by a suicide attempt and drug overdose, Marion Faithful couldn't join the movie Ned Kelly with her then-boyfriend Mick Jagger. A significant moment in movie history happened in 1967 when she said the first instance of the F word on screen in the film, I'll never forget what's his name. In the documentary Bob Dylan Don't Look Back, she appeared as herself. During a scene where Bob Dylan is typing, she watched the creation of Alternatives to College, a piece intended for Esquire magazine. Even though Esquire rejected the freeform work, it was only copyrighted just before its eventual release two decades later as a bonus in the lyrics 1962-1985 volume. These events in her life and career show the ups and downs of the entertainment industry, with its highs and lows, challenges, and notable milestones. Close friends with Anita Pallenberg during the time they were both involved with members of the Rolling Stones, Marion Faithful dated Mick Jagger, while Pallenberg was with Brian Jones. Their bond during this period became well known within the circles of the rock band. After her autobiography Faithful in 1994, Marion is reportedly working on a follow-up. This new installment is set to be turned into a screenplay, adding another layer to her storytelling. Regarding her family, Marion Faithful has a son named Nicholas Dunbar with her ex-husband John Dunbar. Nicholas was born on November 10, 1965. These aspects of her life shed light on various parts of her journey, including her connections with the Rolling Stones, ongoing creative projects, and her role as a mother. Marion Faithful's acting style changed a lot over her career. In the beginning, she was known for innocent and vulnerable roles in the 1960s. But as time went on, she started playing more complicated characters with deeper emotions. In the 1980s, her acting became grittier and more detailed, matching what audiences and filmmakers wanted. She showed she could play all kinds of roles from serious to thoughtful. Later on, in the late 1990s and early 2000s, she kept changing her acting style. She took on characters that were hard to understand, making her performances feel real and relatable. Recently, she's still trying new things, taking on roles that are different and challenging. She keeps getting better and trying new things in the movie world. Throughout her career, Marion Faithful has shown she can change with the times, always finding new ways to act. Her willingness to try new things and play different characters has made her a respected and admired actress. After the divorce, John Dunbar successfully gained custody of their son Nicholas, bringing about a significant shift in Marion Faithful's life. In her formative years, she found herself enrolled in a Roman Catholic girls' school, an experience that surely influenced her thoughts and art. During this time, Marion's connection with literary and artistic circles deepened. An old friend, poet Allen Ginsberg, named her professor of poetics at the Jack Kerouac School of Disembodied Poets. This recognition boosted her status in the creative community and highlighted her intellect and contribution to poetry. Navigating life post-divorce, Marion found comfort and inspiration as a professor, pouring her experiences into her work. Ginsburg's acknowledgement fueled her love for writing, inspiring her to explore new depths in poetry. Marion's journey unfolded unexpectedly, guided by her resilience and creativity. 
Embracing her role in the literary world, she made a lasting impact on the Jack Kerouac School of Disembodied Poets, a place celebrating free-spiritedness and the avant-garde. In Marion's life story, each experience shaped the woman and poet she became. The custody battle, her Catholic school upbringing, and Ginsburg's honor all influenced her path. In poetry, Marion Faithful became known for innovation and courage. Her story, filled with triumphs and challenges, shows the transformative power of art and resilience. And so, Marion's narrative continues, penned with the ink of experience and the poetic talent she shares with the world. In a brief but memorable appearance, Marion Faithful appears as herself in the documentary Bob Dylan Don't Look Back. Around the 31 minute mark, she can be seen quietly seated in a corner while Dylan diligently works on a typewriter. Her influence extended beyond her own work, leaving a mark on the music of her peers. John Lennon drew inspiration from Mick Jagger's relationship with her when crafting his 1966 song And Your Bird Can Sing, showing how connected the music scene was at that time. However, not all parts of her life were glamorous. In 1967, she found herself in legal trouble when British police raided Keith Richards' residence for drugs. She was among those arrested, reflecting the rebellious atmosphere of the 1960s counterculture. These incidents offer glimpses into her presence in important cultural moments, from appearing in a documentary to inspiring songs and facing challenges during a time marked by social change and legal scrutiny. Recovering from breast cancer surgery in November 2006, she now lives in Paris with her manager Francois Ravard. Her family background mixes English and Austrian heritage. Her maternal grandfather, an Austrian nobleman, had a distant connection with Count Leopold von Sacher Massach, known for his novel Venus in Furs, which introduced the idea of masochism to literature. This link adds an interesting twist to her lineage. Additionally, her maternal grandmother came from a Jewish family, adding another layer to her roots. These diverse family influences have shaped her into the person she is today, adding depth to her artistic perspective. In Paris, surrounded by history and the city's culture, she continues to tell her story, embracing life with resilience and grace. Her artistic spirit resonates in the city, inspiring her as she navigates her personal and professional life. The story of Marion Faithful, from her triumph over adversity to her eclectic lineage, shows resilience, artistry, and cultural richness. It's a story that stands the test of time, embodying the spirit of survival and the power of creativity. Truly, her journey speaks to the human spirit strength. In the midst of Paris' romantic allure, amidst her story past and the promise of the future, she continues to leave her mark on the world, leaving a lasting impression that transcends borders and generations. In September 2006, she went through a tough time when she got treatment for breast cancer. She bravely shared her journey on her website, which reassured her fans as her chances of getting better were good. The song As Tears Go By by the Rolling Stones is important in her story. It was made by Mick Jagger and Keith Richards, and they dedicated it to her. You can learn more about her life and work in a book called Contemporary Authors, published in 2005. It talks about her life story and all the things she's written. Her lasting influence on music and her ability to overcome personal struggles have made her famous. Many people have been inspired by her journey, which is both touching and strong. The story of her life, mixed with the music of the Rolling Stones, still means a lot to people all over the world. To sum up, her strong spirit shines not just in her fight against illness, but also in the songs that honor her journey. Born to a baroness mother and a British intelligence officer father, Marion Faithful's roots hinted at a life less ordinary. Fast forward to the present, and she is a grandmother of two, residing in Ireland. In 1969, director Tony Richardson made a notable casting choice, selecting her for the movie adaptation of Nicole Williamson's Hamlet, a play that had already seen international success. Francesca Annies had previously played Ophelia in the stage versions alongside Williamson. However, when Roman Polanski took the directorial reins for the 1971 adaptation of Macbeth, both Williamson and Faithful found themselves sidelined. Polanski dismissed Williamson for lacking sex appeal and her due to her heroin addiction. Instead, Francesca Annies secured the role of Lady Macbeth in the film. Despite her journey marked by ups and downs, her involvement in these notable productions underscores her place in the annals of film history. In 1967, the Hollies made the catchy song Carrie Ann, inspired by someone special. The touching words were written with her in mind, making her a big part of the song. VH1's 100 Greatest Women of Rock and Roll ranked her 25th, showing how important she was in rock music. 
Meanwhile, the Rolling Stones song Wild Horses talked about emotional pain, hinting it was about her breakup with Mick Jagger. The lyrics captured their relationship falling apart, showing the sadness. These songs show how she influenced music and how her life became part of famous songs. These examples show how she made a big impact on music, not just as a muse, but as someone who influenced famous songs. Her presence in the lyrics shows how much she mattered in music history. She left a strong influence on music that continues to be felt today. And so, history remembers her influence, showing how one person can inspire others. 